This is your neighborhood pastor, Bishop Double O. Anthony Johnson, with a word for you from God. Greeting loved one in the precious name of Jesus Christ, our soon coming King and Bridegroom. I am so excited to come to you today with some of the scripture nuggets that God has been releasing in my spirit all this week to encourage the people of God. Some of these scriptures are 1 Peter chapter 4 verses 12 to 14. It reads, Beloved, think it not strange concerning the fiery trial, which is to try you as though some strange thing happened unto you. But rejoice inasmuch as ye are partakers of Christ's suffering, that when his glory shall be revealed, ye may be glad also with exceeding joy. If ye be reproached for the name of Christ, happy are ye, for the spirit of glory and of God rested upon you. On their part is evil spoken of, but on your part he is glorified. The next scripture is 2 Corinthians chapter 4, 16 to 17, which reads, For which cause we faint not, but though our outward man perish, yet the inward man is renewed day by day. For our light affliction is but for a moment, work it for us a far more exceeding and eternal weight of glory. Paul exhorted Timothy and reminded him that all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. As children of God, we should not be taken by surprise when we come under intense attack by the enemy, as though some strange thing has happened to us. We should be constantly reminded that if we are going to live a godly life in Christ Jesus, we will be persecuted by the enemy. And remember this, there hath no temptation taken you, but such as is common to man. But God is faithful, who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able but will with the temptation also make a way of escape that ye may be able to bear it. God will not take you out of these temptations, but will give you the strength to go through them because as James exhorted us, my brethren, count it all joy <laughs> when you fall into diverse temptation, knowing this, that the trying of your faith work at patience. But let patience have her perfect work, that ye may be perfect and entire, wanting nothing. James went on to say, Blessed is the man that endureth temptation, for when he is tried, he shall receive the crown of life, which the Lord hath promised to them that love him. Loved ones, I come to touch and agree with you today and to strengthen you because we are all going through a process which is sure to win us an eternal way of glory. And remember this, we're not just getting some glory, but we're getting an exceeding and eternal weight of glory. You've got to be prepared to manage this. So rejoice and be exceeding glad, for great is your reward in heaven. As you're watching this devotional today, I want you to release your faith and believe God for your breakthrough right now. I'm here to illuminate your mind that you can activate your faith and receive the promise that God has promised you. Come on, let us pray right now. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, Touch that believer that is watching this devotional right now. I decree and declare that no weapon that is formed against you shall prosper. And every ill-spoken word against you, I condemn. Let there be a breakthrough in the heavens. I tap into Christocentric and prophetic vein. I shatter glass ceiling. Father, I decree and declare that every delay and limitation that have occurred in our lives are now destroyed. I recalibrate the spiritual climate and decree that we will now move synchronized and syncopated to your divine timetable for our lives. I decree and declare that there shall be no more demonic droughts, no more demonic dryness, no distress disease, depression, and no more demonic drama. 
I decree that our times are in your hands. Therefore, we are released from demonic cycles, seasons, calendars, and timetables. We are in sync, in season, in sequence. Hallelujah. I activate good times and blessed moments and destroy the spirit which controls bad times, hard times, and struggling times. Since, Lord, our time is in your hands, I decree and declare that this day and every day of our lives shall be filled with mind-blowing supernatural occurrences that will bring us great joy. I dislodge demonic anchors that keep us in cycles, cycles of poverty, hardship, lack, struggle, chronic sickness and disease. I destroy these anchors now by the word and by the blood and by the spirit of Almighty God in the name of Jesus Christ. My God, if you have believed and released your faith with me today, go forward and be blessed in the name of Jesus Christ. It's your time and it's your season to be blessed.